Hello guys and welcome back again to this new episode. In this episode, I'm going to install this GDMU clone into my brand new Dreamcast. As you can see, this is not uh, the original one. It's a clone from uh, AliExpress and uh, it got uh, positive reviews and I thought why not try it. I just bought it for $35 and uh, it seems like a complete clone of the original and it is version, let me see it, version 5.15b and uh, yeah it seems like a quality PCB and so on so let's try it first of all you have to verify that your dreamcast is one of those uh, models that allow this modification to happen and in this in our case it is you have to get uh, number one here and uh, let's start by removing by removing this shell and disassembling it Okay, so after removing all the screws, now this should come pretty easily. Here we are faced with the internals of uh, the Dreamcast. So now we need to take uh, uh, this GD drive out by disassembling it using these screws right here. All right, after disassembling all the screws, you need to push it from here and it will go out like that okay now we all we have to do is just to install to align this connector right here and just push it down okay now moving on to the power supply I have mentioned that uh, previously that this 12 volt pin when you install the GDMU, it stops being used, so the floating regulator uh, situation is happening. So now we need to put this load resistor between the 12 volts and the ground. Now you can put anything like 330 ohm or 400 or something. I think this is the 2.2 uh, kilo ohms, six of it in parallel to distribute the load. It's gonna be something around 460 ohms or something like that. Use whatever is necessary uh, for you and whatever is uh, available. So right now I'm gonna solder it on here. We put the SD card in the adapter and you can just install it like that. But first we have to prepare this SD card for, in, uh, for installation uh, to put the menu and the games. Uh, and for that, let's head to the laptop. All right, now first we have to format the SD card to FAT32 using this uh, program that I have put in the description. Choose the correct drive and press start. Okay, so now we move to the SD card maker software. Choose our drive and then we start adding the games. Now before adding the games, we need to add the so-called GD menu from here and this is the, the one. Okay, now next we have to add the rest of the games that we have. I'm gonna choose something like Sonic Adventure 1, the GDI, and let's, let's say that we only want these two games. We, uh, we say that uh, this menu, so uh, this menu option is okay, and we press save. Do you want to customize? Yes, I want to customize. Now here you can add uh, your own text and so on, and press done. Okay, now all we have to do is to wait until it finishes uh, flashing the, the games on the SD card. Okay, now it says it's done. Press OK and take off the SD card and let's put it in the Dreamcast to test it. 
Okay, after installing the SD card and so on, let's power the, the Dreamcast. This is the controller. As you can see on the BMU, now it's displaying GDMU, and now we have this option. Let's say I'm gonna go for, uh, let's say, Sonic Adventure 1, and I say play. And it works perfectly. So works perfectly and this is the game has started so thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video